If you have a room in your house that you don't want to go duckless in, you don't want a duckless mini split hanging on your wall, and you're wondering what your options are, in this video I want to talk about some of those options. So I've got three different things that you can think about as you're making this decision. Mini splits are not just wall hung mini splits anymore. I did a video where we talked about all the different types of products, whether it be pancake, ducted mini splits, whether it's a floor mount mini split, whether it's a ceiling mount or a cassette. There's all kinds of different mini splits now. And if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. But let's dive into this. First thing I want to talk about is some of those other options that we talked about in that video, but I'm not going to go quite as an in depth, but I just want to say you can explore other options. There are companies making all kinds of cool products. I think the floor mount units that a lot of brands are making now are pretty aesthetically pleasing. And they remind me of probably two or three decades ago, when we got away from those cast iron boiler radiators in a lot of older buildings and they started putting in these steel type covered radiators, they were providing heat. It almost reminds me of that where they're kind of on the floor, not quite as big and bulky and ugly. These floor mount mini split units might be an option if you don't want something hanging on your wall necessarily. A lot of historic buildings, it's funny to me that they'll actually have these wall hung mini splits. So you've got this historic building, all this beautiful architecture. They'll even have antiques in there. And then all of a sudden, just like out of nowhere, there's just this wall hung mini split in the middle of everything. It's just kind of goofy looking. Another option might be small duct high velocity units. The brand that we've installed the most of is Unico. They're a small duct high velocity brand where you can pair it with an outdoor unit and the ducts are pretty small. They're like three inches instead of having, you know, like a six or eight inch duct running to a space with your normal boot, you've got these small holes and they kind of cater to those historic buildings that, you know, there's not really room to run ductwork, you know, unless you want to take away from the beauty of that historic building a lot of times they'll install these small duct high velocity units. So check that out. Another brand is Space Pack. There's nobody really installing that brand around here, but I know across the country Space Pack is kind of a, a, a more common brand as well when you're talking about those small duct high velocity units. One thing I will say though, they're called small duct high velocity for a reason. And when I say high velocity, the air being pushed out is much stronger. So you've got a smaller duct, but you might say, well, it's small, you know, it's kind of restricting the amount of air that can come through so they got a higher velocity be able to put your hand over that and know it's really blowing a lot harder and the last thing if you don't want something hanging on the wall in your addition in your new home bonus room something like that is you can also maybe add on to your existing conventional system so if you have a system in your main part of your house whether it's a you know furnace or air handler type system and you've got ductwork in place and now you've built onto the house you might be able to run ducts off of your existing system over to the addition. Now, we'll caution you, make sure that someone does a heat load calculation, make sure that, you know, the unit is not going to struggle to add that extra. Now, I, I would say there are cases where if you just add it on a bedroom, it's maybe an extra couple hundred square feet, you might be okay. But I have heard horror stories where now they've built onto the house, they've done all this work, they've ran all these ducts over to the new area, only to find out that now the system's undersized. And that may be part of your planning process too. If you've got a system that's older and you're about to replace it anyway, well, you might be able to upgrade the size to equate for your addition and then just have a bigger trunk line. You can't just increase the size of the unit because your ducts are too small, but your trunk coming off, you might be able to increase the size of that as well and then have your duct coming off of that going to your new area. Anyway, get a pro in there. They'll be able to help you with all that. Get a couple opinions if you're not sure. I wish you luck. I appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.